had I had unprotected sex with him, then I can say, shit, you made a mistake and you get over that, right? But the fact that I didn't make that, that I didn't make that choice and he ripped a condom and took that and made that what it was for him to get off um, and he changed my life. And that's something that I can't think, get over. How can somebody be just be so fucking cruel? A nasty, angry individual who carried out a cynical campaign. He deliberately infected his gay lovers with HIV and then... Daryl Rowe taunted and abused his partners after passing on the virus. Went on Grinder and started chatting to Daryl. We exchanged some pictures, as you do, and he was really adamant to have unprotected sex, which I was like, clearly said to him, absolutely not, that's not happening. And then obviously he kept messaging and he was like, you know, fine, you know, we'll, we'll you know, whatever, we'll, we'll do it your way. And then he was at my door. <laughs> Daryl tried to force himself onto me without the condom. And I had to push him off me. Um, and basically, you know, say to him, that's not what we agreed on. And then I was very, very, very stern with him. I was very like, if you don't, then you're leaving, like getting out my house. I just have no idea how he would have sabotaged a condom at that point. I mean, you know, I trusted him. That was a complete trust. I gave him the condom. So I put it on, and then what he did with it then, I have no idea, absolutely no idea. It was the following Wednesday, and my phone rings, and the voice is saying, you're gonna burn, I ripped the condom, you stupid, I got you. It was about two weeks after Daryl stopped contacting me. I got really sick. I felt really ill. I got a call from the clinic and a text saying, we need you to call to discuss your results. And my friend just yelled at them over the phone saying, just tell him what it is. You're, you know, he's in bits right now. And then they said, you're, you're, you've, you're, you're positive. She was like, we've had four of the cases that have pretty much said the same exact thing. I just looked at her and said, get the police. I want to report this. My parents died of AIDS in the 80s. My dad was a junkie, contracted HIV through the needles and passed it on to my mom. It was a death sentence then. It was a very scary time. You know, I knew that they were gonna die. I grew up saying I would never, ever in a million years let this happen to me. I never wanted to utter those words that I had HIV. I feel like there is a right of mine that's been taken away without my consent. I feel really grateful that medication has moved on. It's, it's okay to live with HIV. It's not it's not a death sentence. That's all I can really say out of it. And I thought that when I first found out, I really did. I thought that was it for me. <laughs>